Hello everyone, this is Manish from Simply Learn and welcome to the video introduction to PHP. In this video, we will discuss everything about PHP in detail. But before we dive into it, let us first meet Rob. Rob is the owner of an e-commerce business. Earlier, his customers were very happy with the products they purchased from his website. But with more traffic and user base, Rob started receiving complaints from his customers not related to the products but the website itself. Now, the customers were facing challenges like slow website speed, bad user experience and poor security features. Like any other business owner, Rob wanted to rectify the problem, but he was unable to find a solution to it. Well, developing his websites in PHP can solve all of Rob's problem. And guess what? PHP is simple to learn and easier to implement. Let me elaborate on this. So PHP is useful in many ways as first and foremost, it can make the website function faster. It can create dynamic web pages and dynamic web pages are what makes a website more interactive. Next, it provides security encryption. It is a cost efficient language. It is very compatible as it works efficiently with different databases and programming languages and it is platform independent which means a PHP application can run on any environment. Now, before moving into the details, did you know that 79.2% web is still powered by PHP, which nearly translates to 20 million websites and 1 million web servers. Now, in this presentation, you'll learn about what is PHP, how does it work differently from a conventional web page, what are its features, some major companies where PHP is implemented, prerequisites on learning it, and finally, we will have a look at the demo for our first PHP program. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So what exactly is PHP? PHP stands for Hypertext Preprocessor, which is a recursive acronym. It is an open source server-side scripting language that is embedded into HTML and used for web development. Now, before we get overwhelmed by the technical terms, let me simplify them for you. Now, for those of you who don't know, open source is a term for technology, which means it is freely available to everyone. While server-side scripting means that from writing the code to implementing and processing it, everything is done on the server side, while the user just lays down and enjoys the experience. Now that we know what PHP is, Let's see how a PHP script looks like. As you can see on the screen, this is the syntax of PHP. It opens with an angled bracket, question mark, PHP, and ends with a question mark and an angled bracket, while the code comes in between them. Now, as you can so notice, this is very similar to how HTML codes are written. Now, let's have a look at some features of PHP. Now, while PHP being a very diverse and feature-rich language, some of its main features are listed here. Let us try and understand them one by one. First is simple. Now this feature comes as a good news to new learners, since PHP is simple and hence an easy to learn language. Next comes flexibility. PHP is a highly flexible language. In conventional web pages, even the smallest of changes have to go through the developer who changes the code to implement them. Well, PHP gives you the flexibility to make small changes without the intervention of the developer itself. It is also platform independent, which means it does not require any special plugins to run and can basically run on any environment. Next is interpreted. PHP is an interpreted language and does not compile the entire code, hence taking less time, which takes us to our next feature. That is fast. Websites developed in PHP are faster. This is why developing dynamic websites using PHP is considered as the best option. As discussed earlier too, PHP is called as an open source language, which means it is free to use and implement. Next feature is security. The language consists of a few built-in frameworks that provides benefits like encryption, and hence protection from cyber attacks. Next is a large PHP community. 
Since PHP is an old language, it has grown up to a large community which is very helpful and makes the language more stable. So that was all about features of PHP. Moving forward, let us discuss the workflow of a PHP web page. How does a PHP page work? So for a better understanding, let us first see how a basic HTML page functions. In the basic HTML workflow, when you open a website on your browser, a request is sent from the browser to the server and the server then returns the requested page stored on it back to the browser. Now that's it. No matter what device or what purpose you open the website for, the page return is always the same or you can say static. Now what PHP does different is when you open a website developed in PHP, a request in .php extension is sent to the server. Now, into the server, there exists a PHP interpreter which recognizes the .php file and interprets it. Based on the request from the browser, it pulls out data from its database and file systems and returns a HTML page personalized according to the user. Now let me give you an example to make it more clear. When you log into your account on Rob's new e-commerce website made on PHP, it takes your unique request to the server and shows you products based on your past preference and liking instead of showing you the exact same page every time. Now this makes the website dynamic and more interactive to the user. Also guys, before moving forward, if you're enjoying this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to Simply Learn for more such content. So that was all about the workflow of PHP. Let us discuss the companies using them. Now, many companies have reached great success by implementing PHP into their websites. Let me list down a few of them. First comes Facebook, the biggest social media platform. Did you know that Facebook was created entirely on PHP? And according to the website SimilarWeb, PHP is visited by users for nearly 22 billion times per month. This means the social media platform has to deal with huge traffic volumes and PHP helps the website with this. Now before moving to the next website, a quick question for you guys. What is the one site everyone goes to for information? Correct, it's Wikipedia. And guess what, it is written in PHP too. Now platforms like WordPress which are used to create beautiful websites itself are also based on PHP and blogging and social media channels such as Tumblr and even multi-service platforms like Yahoo which face huge amounts of data traffic every day uses PHP to function. So now that I hope you are more motivated to learn PHP, let us look at some of the prerequisites of learning it. Now since PHP scripts as already discussed are embedded into HTML codes, a basic understanding of HTML comes naturally as a prerequisite. Again, a website cannot be complete without the implementation of CSS. Hence, a basic understanding of CSS is also a must. Next is basic knowledge of programming language. Now this is not necessarily a prerequisite, but if you have basic knowledge of programming fundamentals such as OOPS concept, functions and arrays etc, it would really help you along the way. Now that we have an understanding of what PHP is, its syntax and how does it function, let's jump to making a first program. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit Scale Up by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Now, since a browser only understands HTML, we will write a first PHP script into the HTML code. So let's get started. I'll begin writing the HTML code with HTML body and let us create a first heading. Let's name it first PHP web page. Now let's write a first PHP script. So a PHP script as we discussed earlier in the syntax section begins with a opening angular bracket question mark PHP and the code goes echo 
hello world now echo acts as a print function and prints any string in front of it now let's close the script with a question mark and a closing angular bracket and also close our html web page let's save it and open our first web page on the browser now as you can see we have a first php web page and it displays hello world which we wrote in a php script also to understand the setup we have a separate video with step by step installation to set up the complete php environment and then creating your first hello world program so thank you guys for watching this video and if you like it please hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such content Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.